What's up everyone? Welcome to a different type of video here today on the channel. So we're gonna do the Gata Quiz Mall, the Guardians Pokemon Quiz. So this isn't the quiz I wanted to do, but if you guys want to see me do a quiz where I have to blindly name the Pokemon while they're like, you know, just like in the anime where they're, they're, they're shadowed out and I have to guess the Pokemon from that. And if I do Gen 1, Gen 2, or all the Geners, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if so. If you, Especially if you guys do enjoy the content. So let's see how much we know about the entirety of the world of Pokemon. So I don't know what this quiz includes. I've not looked at it except for the first question. So this is, I think this in includes card games, the TV show, anime, movies, everything. So, you know, let's just get right into it. I I'm really curious. Let's test my Pokemon knowledge because I feel, I I feel I'm pretty knowledgeable in Pokemon. So the Pokemon anime series has focused on the adventures of Ash since it's made its debut in 1997. But what is Ash's surname? It's Ketchum. That, yeah, yeah, it's Ketchum. I know that. Re to reveal. Wow, who would have guessed that? Ash Ketchum. Okay, but actually, it, it, in Japanese, if remember, it's Satoshi. That's how you say his name. Please don't quote me on on that. But I, I, I Satoshi, or yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that's how you do it. But okay, Lobel in uh, Inep Rogue's Team Rocket have been trying to catch Ash's Pikachu for decades. What are the names? It's Jesse and James. You know that, that that one's not hard at all. Okay, give me some harder ones. Can you identify Squirtle? What? What do you mean, can I identify Squirtle? There's nothing there. This one, this one, this one, or this one? How do you... How are you supposed to answer this one? Okay, well, Squirtle's the first evolution in its line, so let's go with the first one. What? Or this one? Yes, that's just Squirtle evolves into war... That... How do you even answer that one? That's... Uh, I... J j j that's unfair. Nah, okay. Whatever, fine. I, I don't even understand that question. The new series of Pokemon anime, Pokemon Jr. just introduces a new companion to Ash. What is his name? I am so glad I've actually watched most of the Journey series. His name is Go. I don't mind Go. There's a lot of talk about him being introduced as a new character and slowly pushing Ash out of the series, which is something they do need to do, but I felt like I could have done better. I don't mind Go. It really, really annoys me, though, that it's so, so easy for him to catch Pokemon in the show. It literally throw a Pokeball catch it. It's, it's so annoying. Next, the first legendary Pokemon introduced in the Kanto region are Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Oh, come on. Give me give me some better answers and questions here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, in the anime episode, A Shivling Shovel Search, this is during Alola. I remember this Pokemon. Ash gets trapped inside a giant haunted sandcastle Pokemon. What is it called? Sandy Ghast, Polis, Polisand, Wishy Washy. That's not Wishy. It's not Wishy Washy. It's not Mimikyu. Is it Sandy Ghast? Apollo Sand. Apollo Sand. I don't know how to say. Apollo Sand. Yay! We have no idea why there is a haunted sandcastle Pokemon either. Uh, it's because it's what the. I think the lure behind him is that the. A spirit is connected to the shovel or chow on his head, and that's why he connects to the sand. I don't know. Uh, which Pokemon is chiefly described like this in the Pokedex? It pines for the mother it will never see again. Cubone. I'm, I'm gonna call it now Cubone. That's all I needed to read. Uh, I'm gonna click it, but I'm actually gonna read the rest of the question just just because I'm seeing it's likely from the mother in the full moon. It cries. The stains of the skull of the Pokemon wears are made by the shed tears it sheds. Yeah, that, that that's gotta be Cubone. Yeah. Okay. No, no way it wasn't. Uh, totally pathetic, unreliable, known throughout the world for being super weak. The famously opening lyrics to the Magic Carp song, but how many candy do you need to evolve Magic Carp into Gyarados and Pokemon Go? Oh, in Pokemon Go, you need 400. Yeah, okay, it's just like a Dragonite. You need, like, uh, it's a ridiculous amount, but it's because Gyarados is OP. It really is. What is this Pokemon called? Oh, come on, I have him. Alakazam. Easy peasy. Question number 10. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna, how many questions I'm gonna do, and I don't know how many, how long this quiz is, but I guess we'll figure it out. In one episode, Journey Ends, Another Begins, Litten's Pokemon Friend Passed Away. What is its name? It's a, it's, it's a Stoutland. That, that's a Stoutland. I remember that one. That's also the Alola anime. Uh, who was the voice of Detective Pikachu in the, uh, uh, how do you say that word? Eponymous movie? It was, it was Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, best Pikachu ever. I, they've never said that they're going to make a second Detective Pikachu. I really wish they would and come up with some weird reason that they could have Ryan Reynolds play Pikachu again because it's, it's, it's hilarious. I love it. Um, the recent series of YouTube shorts, Pokemon Twilight Wings, was set in which reason? Uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, I, I really, really don't know. I've n I didn't even know shorts had a, a YouTube... The Pokemon channel had a specific need for shorts. I know they had the channel itself, but I didn't know they had a shorts. Um, Twilight Wings. Uh, uh, Dalar, because it's the newest region, basically. Yes! 
Uh, actually, yes, it's featured characters from Pokemon Sword and Shield games, Galar. Okay, so that's nothing to do with why it's that. But anyways, in the iOS game, Magikarp Jump, I didn't know there was such a thing. So it's obviously not on Android. I don't, I'm not, I'm, yeah, because I'm an Android person. I don't like iOS. If you are unlucky, which flying type Pokemon can carry away your carefully nurtured prize Magikarp? Well, considering Articuno is a ice type, I mean, he's ice flying, but he's a legendary, so I wouldn't say that. Uh, Murkrow, dark flying, I guess, water, f I I'm going Pidgeotto. Yeah, Pidgeotto, that makes sense. Uh, Pidgeotto, who is the nuisance here, shakes fist at disapp disappearing bird. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, can you spot Drowsy? Or this, ha! Yes, this is Jowsy to feed the dreams. That, that, I, those are unfair questions. It literally is this question mark, this question mark, this question mark, or this question mark. How are you supposed to know that? I used to use logic. I used logic in the first one. Oh, first evolution line, first answer. That didn't make any sense, though. Okay. Alistair, um, Alistair is a gym leader in Pokemon Shield, but what type of Pokemon does he specialize in? Oh, I don't know Shield. I don't know Sword and Shield very well. Um, based off the image, and because... Alistair just kind of said I would assume ghost. I, I I don't think it's dark or poison. Yeah, there we go Okay, because uh, I know uh, the one thing they did is that there are I think almost every gym type in that uh, Sword and shield which is pretty cool The Alola region which uses the setting for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon is loosely based on which US state What I did it. How is it based loosely based on a US state? States are conjoined together and there, there's an outskirt. They're, they're islands. There are three or four different islands in the Alora region. This, I'm gonna assume Hawaii, because Hawaii is the only island type thing we have. There, okay, there we go. That makes sense. The Pokemon started for each main games in the series are always a choice between grass, water, fire. Really? Like, what kind of a question is that? That's so easy. And there's actually a lot of people who want Pokemon to switch it up, so grass, water, and fire aren't the main starters. As cool as that would be, I, you know, Pokemon, just throw a randomizer into your game. Just make it a setting, okay? And you'll make all of the Pokemon tubers who sell your games so much better. I'm being serious. But uh, it's an interesting idea. I'm not really sure how I'd feel about it. I think it would be really dependent on which game, what region, and what Pokemon they would be. And I also think, I I I'm agreeing with a lot of people, Pokemon needs to stop making new Pokemon. We're almost at a thousand Pokemon. There's like 894 of them. Just go into more lure with the po lore. Lure? Lore. More lore let me say that correctly with the pokemon seriously give us more information like seriously because we we've got the base statistics and everything but i, I want to know more behind the stories like what happened to cubone's mother why is it's got its skull and a bone what's the bone that would be great great information on a great episode they don't go into it enough that's what they need to do okay number 18 the pokemon games debuted on the nintendo switch with let's go pikachu and let's go eevee that's not hard at all easy next one which one of these is Venonat? Uh, this one. No, my god. Ah, that's the first one. That's another one of those BS questions. I'm sorry for my improper language, but that's the, like I said before, that's the closest you'll ever get to me cussing in this channel. <laughs> I mean, I just, that's so stupid. Like, what is that? How are you supposed to answer that? That's just so you can mess people like me up. Sorry, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Pokemon. That, that doesn't sound good at all. Uh, this man is cosplaying which Pokemon? Uh, well, it's not. Would that be Surfetched? He's got. No. I'm, he's got a Team Skull vest on. Galarian Weezing. It's Galarian Weezing. It's Galarian Weezing. Yeah, because I remember that the hat. When I, once I saw Galarian Weezing, I remember that the hat and the tube that goes on top of him. Because I was originally going to go with Surfetched just because of the green mustache and the green tie. Hey, you got 17 out of 20 correct. You know, what ones did I miss? Oh, this, this, this. Oh, look, this, this, this. And oh look, I bet it's the this, this, this. Those are the only three questions I missed. Anyways, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys all did. Especially if you want to see more of these types of videos. And I'll see you all later, Rockstars. Peace, peace.